In today's rapidly evolving financial landscape, the integration of artificial intelligence and machine learning is transforming how financial institutions are operating. From enhancing risk management to streamlining compliance processes, AI is truly revolutionizing the sector. However, with these advancements come new challenges around regulation, data usage, maintaining public trust. So in this interview, we're gonna explore the pivotal role AI is playing within financial services. We're gonna discuss the balance between innovation and responsibility, and also examine how organization can harness AI to its full potential while navigating regulations. So we are welcoming today Giovanni Landi, who's a seasoned expert in financial services. He's specializing at the intersection of AI, machine learning, and regulatory compliance. With a career spanning over two decades in RecTech, Giovanni has worked with leading financial institutions to integrate machine learning into compliance framework. So welcome, uh, Giovanni. Would you mind introducing yourself uh, quickly? Thank you, Gwen. Yes, so I'm Dr. Giovanni Bandi. Um, currently, I serve as the executive director of the Regulatory Genome Project at the University of Cambridge, which is uh, a initiative of the university and uh, a technology partner to develop a standard for uh, machines to interpret financial services regulations worldwide. And before that, I also worked as a regulator. So I've implemented various systems, both in the Middle East and uh, in Europe. And I started my career in risk management analytics and, and uh, compliance. So Giovanni, let's just start with something which everyone is talking about. When it comes to AI, the quality is of the utmost importance. In your view, how do we ensure the quality and accuracy of the outputs uh, being generated by AI? And especially there is one word which everyone is talking about, it's hallucinations, right? Or misleading results, especially when it comes to generative AI and the large uh, language model. So any tips or any insight? Yeah, absolutely. So hallucination is, is, is a term that has been used or perhaps even misused a little bit when it comes down to this to the issue of generative AI providing information which is incorrect, either is factually incorrect or is not complete to, sufficiently to give you a correct answer, or it cannot be used for whatever reason in the context of the research study or a, an application that has been built. Hallucinations are nothing new and they are to be expected. Generative AI works heavily with data and the output result is as good as the data that is provided. So the hallucinations themselves, there's nothing wrong with them as a production of output result, if you will, of, a, of an engine or, or a model which has been generated. The problem is how do you mitigate them and how do you recognize them and, and how do you, do you manage the, the mm -hmm. output result? So in the context of financial services, it's even more relevant because the information has to be as accurate as the, the process that you are uh, using. Uh, there are various ways that hallucinations are, are, are actually mitigated. There, there's methodologies for effectively for benchmarking output results, uh, which is probably the most common way of uh, analyzing it. Uh, so you have to be able to detect them and evaluate uh, how, how wrong they are. This can also be done via the use of other uh, AIs. So that's something that a, somebody who builds this type of system usually is very well aware of, is an AI that checks the output result of another AI in order to formulate the detection. But also, inevitably, especially in the case of setting up a new model, there's a component of human intervention in which there is effective an ultimate checker, which is uh, an expert in the field. Uh, there are various ways of uh, improving the architecture to, to create when it comes down to, to, to generative AI hallucination. Most of them are now becoming standard in, in infrastructures, which are provided by the largest companies you can think of, Microsoft Azure or IBM Watson or whatever is the system they already have embedded systems for that. But there are also methodologies which are uh, also aiming to try to justify the output result. So retrieval augmented uh, generation, for example, is a, it's a brilliant way to 
solve the problem is probably the one that from a structure or point of view financial services can rely the most on because it uses in specific set of data or information, documentation, whatever that is, so that the generative AI effectively can provide the, the answer, can use all of the power that it has learned from but much vast large of data sets out there, but at the same time, it can leverage giving the answer only the, from the output of a few documents. And that's usually what would naturally happen internally at any firm where an analysis is conducted with, using internal data. Okay, so basically what you're saying, Giovanni, is ensuring AI accuracy, it really requires like a multi-layered approach of explainability, keeping the human in the loop, that's critical in AI, and also that continuous feedback or auditing. It's both five things being integrated together and really creating the safeguards, which are being part of the technology itself. Yes, absolutely. And, and there's also very simple ways to operate uh, and also improve. Uh, what any expert in the field would probably tell you that they expect that in the future, there will be whatever is generative AI uh, will effectively use more and more specialized sets of information to generate the, the output. So let's say that you are in risk management and uh, you're working closely with risk management related documentation. And uh, let's say that you are talking about operational and not looking at the numbers. And a machine can be, that has been fine tuned to analyze the, the data, provided examples of the type of information that you're looking for and is prompt correctly, meaning that the, the questions which are posed are also posed in a way that the machine understands better what might be the output results. Though combination of those two is already everyday business for those who are using AI. And more and more, we'll see that there will be specialists looking into optimizing the use of generative AI using this type of processes, optimization, training, fine-tuning, and prompt engineering.